on the fucking show. Hey, what is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today people I want to talk about how Activision can improve the game mode for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. If you guys did not manage to play the beta, I did, so you might want to go back a few videos and see one of my live streams so you guys can catch up with some of the things that you missed. There's sometimes zombies, there's sometimes ray guns, so go check it out guys. It was totally insane. I loved it. I love how this game is mostly gun oriented too, so unlike Fortnite over there where I had to build like a 5 star motel, you know, this game is all about guns, so I like that. That's my opinion. You guys can love whatever you want, but in my opinion, when it comes down to Royale modes, I'm going to jump into this one. So anyways, moving on to the main topic, which is how can we improve this game mode? Because I know this has been a little bit of complaints here and there about being a little bit bland, which I don't really see that much. But, you know, first things first that I want to say, you know, how to improve this mode is by maybe adding more zombie maps. You know, some of the resources from Call of Duty include zombies, so why not, you know, add more zombie maps? We already have four locations, which is the asylum, the cemetery, the machine shop, and the diner. These four locations contain zombies, which every time you kill a zombie, they drop an attachment. So it's not always annoying. Uh, it's sometimes good because, you know, you also have to waste bullets to kill these zombies. But uh, they drop attachments, so you don't have to go, like, all the way across the damn map for attachments. You have to, you can get the long barrel from there, or you can get some of the sights, too. So it's not always a bad thing. And by the way, people love zombies. So why not add more zombies like Keener the Toten, or maybe even the very, very, very first map that came out for zombies in World at War. So... I would like to see some of these maps because it will become nostalgic and it will become pretty fun to see some of these older maps just jump into this damn big ass map. So, anyways, moving on to the next way they can improve this game mode will probably be by current events or special events, however you want to call it. You know, adding special events to these kinds of games will add more freshness. You know, like for example, Fortnite, sometimes they do like Jetpack Weekend or like uh, 50 versus 50, they go like all, all bombs only or something like that. You know, some kind of event going around in the game we'll probably freshen up the game a little bit every time you jump in so i'm thinking like maybe they should do like an exosuit weekend where they're just gonna drop a bunch of exosuits around the map or maybe they should do like a a zombie infestation day <laughs> you know they just have a bunch of zombies in every single map in the part of the map you know so uh, it will become insane insanely annoying but you know people love zombies so why not infest the whole damn map with zombies i would like to see that one day so creating special events for the gamers playing this game will add more fun factor, will add freshness, people want to jump back, people want to see like, okay, I can't wait for this day, you know, people are willing to jump back to see some of these special events, so hopefully they do that, not just like, oh, let me just close the circle faster, and then call that a special event, so um, I'm hoping for them to add more to that. Anyways, uh, moving on to the next one, which will probably be character customization. Hopefully, they do add more outfits than just Koslov and Mason. You know, I want to see more. I want to see some of the older characters too, like from different story modes, or maybe even some crazy outfits like Jason, Voorhees, or Predator, or some kind of crazy outfits. You know, like how Fortnite has it. We need a little bit of, uh, you know, a little, a little bit of difference. Because I know PUBG is like so serious in outfits, and you know, we don't want to be serious. Black Ops. Call of Duty is not serious at all <laughs> when it comes down to these kinds of battle royale. Make it crazy, make it make it more revealing, make it more uh, enjoyable when you're just choosing a character because they all look the same to me. I don't know, man. But when choosing my default character and chasing the head, it doesn't make a difference, you know? I, I was thinking, like, I'll just choose one of the specialists because all of them have, like, different parts of their faces, like, covered. Like, one has a mask, one has a bandana. And I'm like, I have to choose a specialist because it, it makes me look different. So hopefully they do add unique outfits to, for you to choose or, um, and hopefully for free, though hopefully they don't pull a fortnite and be like oh you gotta spend v bucks <laughs> you know call it c bucks or something for this game actually they have cod points never mind so <laughs> they're just making it, they're gonna make you spend cod points i'm pretty sure of it just to get new outfits um hopefully they don't <laughs> I'm, I'm praying they don't so or maybe they can unlock them like in a in a loot box or something that would just create controversy never mind so anyways uh, another way they can upgrade this game is by adding more weaponry like special weapons from the old specialists like the flamethrower the crossbow or even you know the, the, the spikes that you slam down to the floor something special like that could really freshen up the game by a lot i know they might be op but 
maybe limit the ways you can release those weapons and you know just put like one per session or something that will be like good it will be fun and all and maybe have like one time use that would be a little bit more fun to know that there's some crazy ass weapons out there i know i enjoy the titan lmg and the icr assault rifle or some of the smgs but adding more crazier weapons than just a rocket launcher and the ray gun that would be sweet. I would like to see some of the older specialist weapons just coming into here and we'd be able to use them and all that stuff. Just just don't make them too OP though. That's the, the problem. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem there. So um, yeah, I would like to see like some of the specialist weapons just make a jump back into this game mode. Uh, so that is it guys, that's all I wanted to talk about, you know, those are the, all the upgrades, you know, we're talking about the map, we're talking about the weapon, we're talking about the customization, they still have a lot of potential to grow in this game, if they put the resources they have into this game, all they have, this mode will be a hell of a time to have, to play in, you know, it's going to be super fun for sure, so I can't wait to see what they do with this game mode. So that is it guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today, tell me your opinion, you know, what do you guys want in this game mode of Blackout and Black Ops 4, you know, let me know in the comment section with detail, and I'll read them later. So that is it, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more you guys want to see in the future, more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout Mode.